La 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 do do do. Curly is in the park. Magic in the city. Over the rainbow at the end of the street is Jubilant Park where the fairies meet. Away from traffic in the neon scene, doing the magic, keeping it green. Fairies, elves, goblins too. You can't see us, but we see you. So watch your step with your person feet. Over the rainbow at the end of the street. Now twinkle, now sparkle, now play with your shine. Opal? Ugh, this loud thump, thump, thumping kept me up all night. I heard it too. So it was near your place? I reckon, but I can't tell where it's coming from exactly. Whoa! A mystery! Jasper and I could come over and help you track it down. Oh, that'd be bonza. Shh, listen. We'd better check this out. So much for chilling. You're working hard today. You must be awfully hot. Can't talk. Work to do. Don't you need a break? We work dawn to dusk. No time for breaks. Work all day? Non-stop? No way! Everyone needs to have a little fun now and then. But well, work is fun! What's the hold up here? <gasps> oh, hi there, Queen Ida. We thought all of you might enjoy a break. Take a little rest? You don't know much about ants, girly. What do we need a break from? Work? That's what ants do. We work. Go around, go around. Four extra steps to get around you. That's more lost time. Three seconds per ant. We're working late tonight. Yeah. 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 Those poor ants. They've forgotten how to enjoy life. I think we should show them how. I don't know, Pearly. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Remind them that you've got to take some time to play every day. Hi there. Care to join us? <laughs> Yo, Nance! Over to you, Nance! Oh. 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 Move it! Curly, I've had it up to here! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Move it! Even when she was a little fairy, Pearly was irritating. Always so cheerful. You bat! Oh, back in a moment, Miss. Wash this filth off now! Oh, of course, Your Majesty. That Pearly is an interfering busybody. Ludwig! <laughs> back in a moment. And Pearly just has to make everything so sparkly. <laughs> yes, mistress. Can I get some service here? Come in, Your Majesty. That meddling fairy reduced today's productivity by 39%. Oh, terrible, Your Majesty. Ludwig! Yes, mistress. She thinks she's so perfect. She thinks she's so clever. Goody two-shoes. Know it all. Oh. That Pearly oh, is driving me crazy. Oh. <gasps> My dear Queen Ida, this looks like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Whew. Oh, I need a break from trying to get those ants to take a break. We tried everything and got nowhere. Maybe they're happy as they are. No, no, that can't be. Let's try again tomorrow. In the meantime, we'll come by tonight, Opal, and help you figure out where that noise is coming from. <laughs> Oh, that'd be tops. I'll see you then. <laughs> Mistress, I found out that Pearly is going to Opal's tonight. Ludwig, can't you see we're plotting here? Shush! You were saying? I want that pearly pink pip 
Squeak, off the scene! Away from my workers! We need to give her a problem so huge she'll have no time for her infernal interfering. Hmm. I can't hear myself think! It's those persons over there! Ludwig, big eyes! What is that? What are they doing? That's how persons make that white stone on the ground. It's called cement. They mix the gray stuff with water and it turns hard as rock. Really? Now to get back to our pearly problem. But darling, this may be just what we're looking for. And you say Pearly's going to Opal's? Hmm. Could we use your workers for a rather big project tonight? Of course. They do my bidding. Oh, that's what I need. An army that does whatever I want. But you have me, most excellent one. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> which is really not much at all. Do you have a plan? I sure do, Queenie. And I can give you a rock-solid guarantee that it will hit Pearly right where she lives. <laughs> marvelous. Simply marvelous. I've calculated we need exactly 140 minutes and 35 seconds to accomplish the mission. Can you keep Pearly out of the picture for that long? Ludwig, fly over to Opal's and keep an eye on Pearly. Make sure she doesn't come home till we're done. Got it? I have got it, magnificent queen of darkness. You can count on me. <laughs> oh. You wouldn't trade him for just four of yours, would you? <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. We're glad to help. Um... I don't hear the thump thump. Usually it's started by now. Well, we'll just wait and listen. We are on the job, ma'am. If there's anything sneaky going on in the park tonight, we'll know about it. Fantastic! Such precision, such order. We are right on schedule. Pearly's shell will be filled by 0100 hours. And then we simply add water and voila! Pearly's oh so precious little home is filled with stone. No more Pearly in my park. Bliss! It's not fair, making us work all night. If the queen wants it, I'll do it. Only I feel a little bad. Pearly doesn't deserve all this. She means well. What are you thinking? I'm thinking someone should let her know. Taxi! <laughs> Munchies on the wing! <laughs> oh. Oh. Pearly! Oh. Oh. Pearly, your nest is in danger! You must go home! Very urgent! Do not delay! Let's roll! Excuse me! My ants only answered to me! Out of my way, Queenie. I'm in charge of this mission now. Over this way! Move! <sighs> Come on! <laughs> it's almost there! Push! Push! Oh no! One more push! <laughs> Go! 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 Sapphira! No, no, no! Oh, hello, Pearly. Just as well I was here to stop these bad bugs in their tracks. Bad bugs? What? 
I'm sorry if I upset you today, but ruining my home is taking things an eensy bit too far, don't you think? Oh! This has got your grubby mitts all over it, Sephira. Call off your army, Queen Ida. I won't let you ruin Pearlie's delightful little home. Ants dismissed! You double-crossing fair-weather fairy! This isn't over! Hmm. Oh, just look at my shell. Dear me, what a mess. <laughs> and Ludwig has arrived just in time to help you clean up. Good night, all. Uh, um... All right, Ludwig. Take it away. There's that noise. You hear it? Awesome! Follow that thump thump! Hey! It's coming from the drain! We must be getting close. Whoa! Wicked rave scene, Ant Dudes! And I thought you didn't know how to have fun. We work hard, we play hard. <laughs> Could you do us a favor, please, and shift the party further down the drain, away from Opal's log? Sure, no problem. Thanks, mate. Destination right under Sapphira's glass house. Let's go! Oh. Oh. Oh, Ludwig, I can't sleep. What is that infernal thumping? <sighs> I am surrounded by fools. Throw me the hammer. Oh. Hi, Opal. Sorry to disturb you, but it's kind of an emergency. Oh, really? What kind of emergency? I can't sleep in my shell. There's work persons there. Gee, that sounds awful, but, but, but I don't know, mate. Uh, my log looks like a wombat's breakfast. <laughs> in fact, I was just about to do a little spring cleaning. <laughs> oh, don't worry. There's dust everywhere in the park today. And then there's the problem of where you might sleep. Anywhere will do. Oh, what was that? Oh, beg your pardon. My tummy's rumbling. I haven't had my tea yet. Neither have I. I could cook for both of us. Um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, why don't we have an outdoor barbecue? Like back home in Rainbow Ridge. Ooh, that sounds like fun. So, you make the fire over there. <gasps> Here you go, a fry pan. Uh, lovely. I'll get started and you bring the rest of the things. Ripper. <laughs> oh, no. Ned, listen, mate, you've got to stay inside. If persons see stray creatures wandering the park, I've heard they catch them and they take them away. <laughs> Hurly burly. Smell that. My favorite. Fried fairy bread and dandelion butter. Purr. It's getting chilly out here, though. We should go inside your log soon. Uh, I don't know. Uh, why don't we camp under the stars tonight? I, I used to love that back home. Well, sure, if you think that... Ripper, I'll get us some blankets. I'll be right back. Ned. Ned. Where are you hiding, mate? <gasps> He's gone. Crikey. I warned him it's not safe to go exploring. <laughs> There's nothing. 
nothing there, you blathering bat brain. What? It was a dragon. Yes, like this. Ah, like that. Or maybe more like this. You look like a clown. Oh, junkhead. But it was there, mistress. A huge yellow dragon. All right, stop your pitiful blubbering. It's probably a client looking for a late night face mask. This is a place of business, Ludwig. <laughs> little fireside fairy magic. Huh? Oh, dear. Huh? <laughs> no client at all. Or dragon. Oh, thank you, mistress. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Only without the wings and Calm something. down, Jasper. Oh. It's my mate Ned, the frilled necked lizard. He's come all the way from Rainbow Ridge to visit me. That was Ned? This is so cool. I always wanted to meet that dude. So, like, where is he? He was at my place. Now he's gone. He's always wandering off. What if he's lost? Let's get Pearly. She'll help find him. I didn't tell Pearly. I didn't tell anyone. I thought I'd better keep it a secret. Opal, we gotta tell Pearly. Right oh. But first I have to find Ned. Ned! Ned! Opal! Where is she? <coughs> Ned? <coughs> oh <laughs> it's so good to see you again, Ned. I wish Opal had told me you were here. I wonder why she didn't. Oh, now I get it. Opal was worried someone would tell and persons would catch you. Don't you worry, Ned. Opal can trust me to keep a secret. Let's go back to the fire and see if Opal's come back. <laughs> Shush, bat breath. My, my, how thrilling. An actual dragon in Jubilee Park. <laughs> Pearly's toast. Burnt toast, mistress. Take me down there, Ludwig. I want to see this mighty beast up close. Mistress, no, please, no! <laughs> shh, shh. Ned, what if persons find you? I need to hide you right away. I know. I'll hide you at the one place in the park no one would ever think to look. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure Cousin Sapphire won't mind you hiding here. You remember her from fairy school? <laughs> Sapphira! Sapphira? Hmm. She's not here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you just make yourself comfy while I go and find Opal. Ludwig, prepare my bath. Oh, oh, it's chilly out here, dude. No, Ned? No. Opal, but he is pearly. You could have told me about Ned, Opal. We're supposed to be best friends. I'm sorry. And now he's lost. He's not lost. I've hidden him in Sapphira's spa. Pearly, you didn't. Wake up and smell the daisies, my fairy friend. If, if Sapphira finds Ned, she will so bust him. Really? We have to get to the spa. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah, uh, you know, Ludwig, there's nothing so relaxing as knowing that persons will arrive in the morning and pluck a noxious weed from your Garden of Eden. Eh, uh, mistress? I look forward to reporting Pearly for letting the thing run wild. <gasps> Dragon. 
dragon. It's Ned. Ned? Ned! Who invited that vile creature to come and traipse all over the park? It was me. I brought him here. I thought you'd take care of him. No, it was me. I'm the one who's responsible. Whatever! We just gotta find him. After me! Woohoo! Neddy, 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 Neddy! Get back here, bat brain. Let him stay lost. The sun's coming up. Persons will find him soon enough. I'm going to bed. That's it, man. We've looked all night. Not in the spa, not anywhere. Ned's totally gone. I should have sent him home straight away. I should have told him it's too dangerous here. It's all my fault. Uh-oh. Here come the persons. Harley, Burley, look! There's Ned in my shell. Oh. oh, you better be careful. They'll see him. Come on, Ned. Get out of there. Yoo-hoo! Lovely morning. Anyone for breakfast? Oh, Opal, there's your dear friend Ned. And here's the lovely persons come to say a cheery hello. Muffin? That one's blueberry, and this one is dandelion. Cool! He'll be at the top soon. There's nowhere for him to go. I'm going to help him. Right behind you, Pearly. Don't look down! Ned, hang on! Just take my... Almost gotcha! Well done, Opal! Now then, Ned, you just stand there, proud and tall, while I perform a little fairy magic. No blinking, Ned. Hey, Stu! <gasps> check out this carving! Don't remember seeing it before. It's a lizard, right? Almost looks real. Anywho, let's get his pipes down and go home, huh? <sighs> well, goodbye, old friend. It was wonderful to see you. Only next time, let me know when you're coming. Pearly says you can stay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> How silly of Ludwig to think he was a real dragon. He's just a silly old lizard who couldn't scare a flea. <laughs> 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 <laughs>